Y'all can hear me okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just went on my little lunch break. How, how long yeah. y'all got? We don't really have a whole lot of time, so maybe Brother Kurt will jump in or whatever, but. Mm, yeah, we got about an hour. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, he blessed us with an hour lunch break. Okay. Amen on that. So why don't you start us off with the gospel then? I definitely believe that Jesus is God, the word manifest in the flesh. He came unto his own and his own received him not. They said crucify Jesus. That was the Jews. His own was the Jews. And they received him not. And uh, and that's where he died for the whole world's sin. Every sin, past, present, and future sin. He died for all, all the sins. And he didn't stay dead. Jesus rose uh, by the power of God on the third day and was witnessed by over 500 witnesses. And that's the gospel. You must believe to be saved. Amen. And then, uh, what's your brother's name? Oh, my brother's name is Akil. Akil? What's up, Akil? I'm Patrick. Yo, what did what, what it do, man? Uh, nothing but Jesus. So let me ask you, oh, let, me ask, let me ask you two questions, because uh, Brother Jordan kind of uh, shared a little, little bit about um, your faith. You know for sure whether you're going to heaven or not? Absolutely. Okay, and why should God let you into heaven? Because I believe on the on the name of Jesus and and the gospel of Him. Okay, what's that gospel? How Jesus came to His own people when He was born. Uh, three three wise men came and bear witness to His birth. And there He grew up. And when He was growing up, He was uh He was talking to the priests and the and the Sadducees and the Pharisees about the doctrine. And uh, they was astounded by him. Grew up and then he came into he came into some of the cities and started doing the miracles. He went into other cities and started casting out demons and healing people. Um, some believed him, some didn't. Um, he told uh, he chose twelve apostles. Uh, excuse me, twelve. Um, thank you, twelve disciples. And they follow him to bear witness of all of what he did. And even some of what he did isn't even isn't even recorded in this book. Um, <clears throat> but it was so much so that the world couldn't even wouldn't even be contain be able to contain it, contain all of it. But um, they he went on and told them that um, you know, he will be crucified. There's nothing that we anybody could have done to stop him from being crucified. Um, that is where he died for all of our sins. Um, at the end, he screamed out, Eli, Eli, about the night. Um you know, asking God why he's why has he forsaken me? But he also said, let he said, let my uh, let your will be done, not my will. That's when he was talking about drinking the cup. But when this ghost, when the um when he released the ghost, um the veil was rent in twain, doggone graves were open, and the people of the graves were witnessed in the town. After that, he rolled three days after that, marrying marrying his. Mary and they folks went up to the to the dog on um to the grave site and saw he wasn't there but talk but saw two men as angels there and, and what you doing looking for somebody who dead among the living? Come on now, he rose from the dead and then he was witness. It has an account of two witnesses. Um they were walking, <clears throat> they were walking to a town that Jesus pulled up beside them. Jesus pulled up beside him and said, What y'all talking about? And they was like, you are where you been at? You ain't been here since the man Jesus? <laughs> you kind of went out. You, 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 I uh, can't hear you now. You know, kind of broke up. Okay, cool. All right, did you, where, where, where you uh, left yeah. off at? Uh, he was like, uh, somewhere Jesus was like, where y'all, you can't, you, where are you looking for me or something? He was saying, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on you break, you're breaking up a little bit. Okay. Yeah. You, y'all were breaking up on the last part, but can you hear me now? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you can hear us good, you're breaking up on our end a little bit. I don't you know if have, the little area we just drove to to grab some food real quick on lunch. You may have to mute it while I talk. Yeah, Prince of the Power AI yeah, ain't happy. Ain't happy about that about the gospel. 
still got you a little fuzzy on our end. I'm uh, I'm gonna go out, come back in if you can hear me. Okay. I think that's this looks. Uh, sound now. Uh, sound a little better. Say something else. God is good. Yeah, yeah, that's that's better. We can hear you. Okay, cool. Yeah, so um, I appreciate your time. I appreciate you joining, uh, brother Akil, uh, Jordan's brother, um, Akil, and uh, yeah. So the the gospel, uh, you kind of went through the yeah. The, Hold on, hold on, Pat. Hold on, Pat, because it might uh, I might we might have to wait till we leave from this little restaurant real quick after we grab this food. I don't because it's I don't know if it's just right here in this little spot. It didn't do it till we got right here, <laughs> but it okay. got your back fuzzy. Uh, trying to mute it. Trying to mute your phone and see. Yeah, it's the area right here. What's up, brother? Hey, I don't. I gotta take a phone call at twelve thirty. I don't even have. I don't. Even, I didn't have a whole lot of time. I had like thirty minutes before I had to call this. Um, and I guess we're having some technical difficulties where they can't hear me or whatever. But all I all I got to do is ask him a two questions. He went through pretty much all of Jesus' life. Um, but he, you know, he kind of hit a couple of the. He hit everything up until uh. He pretty much hit everything, but still, I mean, we got to ask more questions. Jordan, can you hear? Am I clear now? Yo, Jordan. What's going on? What you making? Oh. Uh, I just have, we're going to make some breakfast. Got some <laughs> farm and sausage with some spicy mustard. I love it. Some farm fresh oh. hard boiled egg. Uh, don't get too fancy now. Don't get too fancy. <laughs> and with the Come on, man. With the ketchup. Some, some barrel pickles. Oh, uh, with the fresh sliced tomatoes, bro. Come on, yeah. a little bit of prosciutto over here. Some got organic, organic blueberries. Got to have a meat. Sparkling lemon lime water. Some grapes. Look, Liam, Dad, don't just be showing it. Like, feed me. I'm hungry, man. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's having some sausage right now. I always just try to feed him his meat first. That's uh that's the trick. Just leave the meat in front of them and let them figure it out. Because once you get to uh -huh. taste of those carbs, if there's any breads or anything like that, it's over. They'll just fill up. Done. Yeah, we got some. Uh, yeah, we got some natural fermented uh, dark rye bread as well. Yeah, rye rye is my all time favorite. Yeah, it's like it's like a natural sourdough. <clears throat> I love the taste of my pumpernickel. Probably my second favorite. Okay, and yeah, then, yeah. The caraway seeds. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know that's what uh, that's what uh, manna tastes it like. Oh, really? Caraway seeds. Yep. Is that what the history book said? Um. Well, you know, you know the uh, the only history book. <laughs> the one that qualifies 
Tasted like uh, caraway seeds. Um, what does it say? Is it say caraway? What does it say? It says um, it says um, uh, um, I will find it. Oh, coriander. My bad. Coriander. So coriander is kind of like uh. Coriander kind of reminds me of caraway, but they're a little different. But it says, and the house is called the name there, Manna. It was a coriander seed, white, and the taste of it like wafers made with honey. So what they did was they took the coriander seed and ground it down, and they baked it. They made like they basically made bread out of it. <clears throat> coriander oh. seed has been compared to as like, <coughs> uh, like. The scent of Fruit Loops, I've heard. It's like got a fruity flavor. Really? Yeah. Yeah, coriander is nice. It's yeah. got a little bit of a kind of a spicy note to it. Not like not like spicy as in heat or anything. It's just kind of got real. It's really. It's got a. It's got a pun a punch to it. I use it, I use it as a to, to pickle too. So. Yeah. Yeah. Pickle or steak spice. Mm. Yeah, coriander is awesome. It's uh, popular in uh, Indian food. Yeah, I just had this uh, Indian lady come pick up this dirt because I was giving away. Man, I was wanting to take so much, but I, I can't. I got to be realistic. So I'll just get more dirt. Um, my dad was like, Pat, leave the dirt. There's plenty of oh dirt. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> you got to keep. Yeah, you got to keep the dirt native to the land. Like, dude, real. No, nah, but she got this. She got that gospel, though. She definitely got that. Her and another <laughs> lady. Um, I guess, I guess we're gonna, I don't know. Take the call, man. I had 30 minutes exactly. I was going to try to get it started and let somebody fix it, but he said yeah. he, couldn't, he couldn't hear me. They started breaking up bad anyway. But uh, well, what do you want to do? Well, um, I mean, I may be able to leave the scriptures up if I if I can hear while I'm on the phone. But I mean, I, I don't oh, know. you got to leave right now. Yeah, and I gotta go. I just let the dog go too. I'll be right back. Oh, okay. You're gone already. <clears throat> All right, well, so just give us a sec. We're in the drive through. Once we get out of the drive through, it should be clear up. Okay. <clears throat> well, for those that are watching uh, the gospel of your salvation uh, sent to the whole world is uh, that Jesus Christ was uh, given to us by God the Father. He was he sent his son to be the payment for our sins, um, for the whole world's sin, even to them that reject him. He still paid for their sins too. Uh, he came unto his own people, the Jews. <clears throat> they rejected their king, even though he was sinless and innocent. Um, he was a just man. <clears throat> he died on the cross for the sins of the world. He was buried <clears throat> for three days and three nights. And on that third day, he rose from the grave bodily. <clears throat> and that's the gospel you must believe in the mystery of the gospel. The mystery of the gospel, but not the gospel. Is that ultimately, Jesus is God the Father. Ultimately, the name of God the Father is Jesus. And you must believe that. If you don't believe that, and if the Father's name hasn't been manifest to you, then I guess you don't believe. Well, Jesus said, I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him you will receive.
will receive the right Jesus. The Jesus who came in his father's name. Mm. <clears throat> if any brothers or anyone's listening, jump in. <clears throat> You must believe the gospel. <clears throat> it's only them that believe the gospel that are saved. For the gifts and calling of, of God are without repentance. The gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. To as many as received him, to them gave you power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. So for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world <clears throat> but the world through him might be saved he that believeth on him is not condemned but he that believeth not is condemned already because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten son of God <clears throat> so the condemnation comes to the man who doesn't believe don't be that guy Be the one that believes. Sweet for Jordan and his brother. <clears throat> oh, want some more? There you go. There we go. Well, so, the CEO of Prime Mobile Detailing is in the building. How are you doing? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I couldn't hear you there. I just plugged my phone in. For that. Oh, I said the CEO I of Prime there. Mobile Detailing is in the building. How are you oh. doing? <laughs> <laughs> I take that. I'm doing well, brothers. How you, how you guys? Hey. Sorry, I'm on. What are you doing right now? You sound like you're in the car. We're just waiting Make for a quick purchase. A purchase? Oh. Want to get your air compressor? Yeah, I just picked it up. Oh, nice. Did you get that, like, horn attachment or whatever that thing was? I, I ordered it off Amazon last night, so okay. It's gonna. Um, it says between Friday and next week, Wednesday. So I'm just like, ugh. I'm hoping Friday. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. Okay. I guess I can still. I can still use the system. I guess it has a default brush or something. But yeah, you already know that Vortex gun is where it's at. So I got that coming. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, that's gonna change. Now that's gonna change the game. It's exciting. Cut my time, cut my time down. And yeah, <laughs> it's exciting when you get this new equipment that uh, cuts your time down, and like yeah, you yeah. just have a better service offering, higher. It just levels you up a little bit, and then yeah, your man. time, which is the most valuable time, not to discount any employee's time ever, but your time in the business, out of all the people in the business is the most val valuable because you bring the most value because you're the decision maker. You're one that drives a needle. So anytime you can free up your time, it, it is, you know, that's especially when you're running. Um, that's the thing is, especially when you're doing two, when you're doing the business and a full-time job, you have a very small window of opportunity to go out and grow your business. So it's going to help grow your business more because you'll be able to do more work, more cars, um, even expand, you know, your, your repertoire. Right. So you can. Right now. I mean, the only thing I'm lacking now is just space. Is <laughs> so like space. 
I, I, I'm like, having a hard time. Space. Space, space. yeah. Yes, yes, space yes. Space in my vehicle, yeah. Yeah, yeah so that's where, you gotta, that's where you got to make the call what the move is. So I would just, um, like, I don't know how bad it is, but uh, I would just say keep do- doing what you're doing. Um, yeah. Maybe you can look into a trailer because those enclosed can be expensive. You could also look into just a, a little utility trailer if you need to. And you yeah, can always what I would rather do. I would rather do like the enclosed trailer that Kale posted, like something like that. I was just like, yeah. OK, that that works. And um, the size of it, you know, everything like that. I'm trying to think about what fits in my garage, like what's going to be, yeah, you know, more secure if I'm, you know, if I pull up to the hardware store. And I run in, you know, that's a good point. I don't want to just have to worry about my equipment if I'm on a job and, you know, stuff is just sitting here. So, um, oh, so the okay. enclosed is, yeah, the enclosed trailer is like really ideal. And then um, I'm like, I just got the phone. Well, I talked to my uh, tax, uh, my CPA this morning. So okay. we had a real good talk. Uh, he's like, yep, report that money you made. He said, now that yeah. you're taking money, now that you're taking money, <laughs> Like I can write off all the startup costs, quote unquote, that I had. Yeah, and be written off as expenses because I've now taken money. So there which is good. Go. He's like, he's like, that's good. So go ahead and file. He said, even if you file it in January, we'll just tag everything. We'll just tag everything else. You know, we'll just tag everything you spent this year onto the you know whatever year we tax. And then um, with the LLC, I can just file it under my personal taxes. Uh, just you know, uh, just rep- as reported income under my business, whatever. But it'd be under my personal taxes, but with yeah. my LOC. So yeah, man, he's he's getting me shit. He's getting me situated for sure, and uh, he wants me to get a business account as soon as I can. Once the uh, business name is all locked in, get the EIN, and then um, and I'm and like this time I this time I'm gonna do it myself, just you know with some good guidance, of course. But I paid a company to like set it up for me with uh, the Amazon idea. So I paid them, right? I could save half my money and do it myself, which I'm I'm gonna do it this time myself. Um, so I I found the uh, registered agent, everything. I hired them. Now I can put them down as my registered agent when I go file. Um, and then for, I gotta go, you know, get the letters of uh, operation or agreements or something like that. I gotta get everything together. And uh, yeah, man, I'm gonna do it myself. Try to save a little bit of money. Good. So it's so that's where I'm at in the business. As I'm growing, I'm I got to get my paperwork together, my business right. So, hey man, I, I'm definitely uh, am in agreement with that. Uh, you're doing a great job, PT. Keep it up. Uh, Jordan, can you hear us? Yeah, yeah, sounds loud and clear. I'm glad y'all ordered those hundred burgers you were getting. Um, oh, <laughs> yeah. So basically. I was just wanting to say, you know, your brother kind of ran down uh, a good bit. You know, I like the way Peter um, said it in Acts, uh, Acts 3.13. Uh, Very condensed. He says, uh, the God of Abraham and of Isaac and of Jacob, the God of our fathers, hath glorified his son Jesus, whom he delivered up and denied him in the presence of Pilate when he was determined to let him go. But ye denied the Holy One and the just and desired a murder to be granted unto you and killed the Prince of Life, whom God hath raised from the dead, whereof we are witnesses. That's the gospel right there. So, uh, Akil, I wanted to ask you, have have you repented of your sins? Yes, I, I've, re- I've received repentance. Okay, so you repent of your sins to be saved? Not to be saved. That comes after your salvation. Before you turn from your ways, that's the only way you can do that is to believe Christ. First, and, you have to believe, then, repent, then repentance is granted unto you. And is it all praise to Yeshua? Who? Yeshua. Yeshua? What are you, the, are you, who are you referring to? The other name for Jesus. I the mean, people. a lot of people call him a lot of things. I call him Jesus. I call him Jesus Christ. You know, Jesus. Right, so there's not the title, but there's not multiple names for Jesus. No, I don't. I do agree that there is one name, and um, that name is Jesus. So um, any other name that you call on, 
You're, uh, you're not. You gotta be called on the name of Jesus. So what, if you're, what if you're Spanish? What about Jesus? If they call him. Now, I don't know what it is for anybody in different tongues. Like, if there if there was spoken in different tongues, I do understand that um, when you read it, when you read it in, I think it is in Matthew, and and um, Gabriel came to Joseph and told him, told him his name was Jesus. Right there in the text, his name is capitalized. Like, every letter is capitalized. So that gives me a... I'm that saying gives, that what is if if someone's Spanish and they uh, they call the name of Jesus, is that okay if it's, if they're saying it in their language? I would have to ask them who is Jesus because I don't I don't speak Spanish. I'm asking you I is that name okay for them to call to to uh, call on the name of the Lord by Jesus using the name Jesus? Is I'm asking. There, are, is that is is that how they say? Hello. Yes or no? Is that okay for them to call on the name of Jesus as if they're calling well, if on? They, the if in their tongue that is how they pronounce Jesus, then yes. Okay, that's what I, that's what I wanted to know. All right. Well, okay. What were you saying about the all caps though? Okay. Yeah. Now, right there, and I think it's Matthew. I think it's Matthew where yeah, it is. you know yeah. it says that the spirit. Uh, you know, it says it's in all caps. Now that does lead me to believe. Um, that the pronunciation there, um, is 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 um, you know, unified. Is no, I, I I can I can be led to believe that in all languages the way you pronounce it is Jesus. I understand where you're coming from. Is that the way you pronounce it is Jesus? You know, in every language, you could be saying, you know, in any language, once you come to that word, you have to pronounce it Jesus. You know, so I can't necessarily, I don't necessarily disagree. I don't necessarily disagree with that understanding. Okay. So do you believe we have every word of God today? Yeah, you got, you You have every word of God in the Bible. Now, do you have every word that God have, has ever said? No. But you can find every word. You can find every word in the Bible, yes. But the word of God for us, for today, is every word yeah. found contained in one book. In one book? Yeah. For, for, yeah. It, for you to believe, yes. That's why in John, that's why um, in John it says that um, not all of the miracles that Jesus did with his disciples were, were uh, recorded in this book. And then it goes on to say, um, and if everything were to be, or the world were to try to contain it all, it wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't be enough. The world, it wouldn't be yeah. big enough for it to contain right. it all. Where is every word of God found today? What book? You can, you can definitely find it in um, King James. You can find King James for sure. Can you, can you find it anywhere else? And now um, there are different variations of King James. Can you find every word of God in any other book? Uh, no, okay. no, I'm not gonna. No, because you're not. Every word of God is in. Hebrew? What about the Hebrew, though? What can about the, find, What about the Hebrew? Can you, can you find the word of God in Hebrew? Yeah, you can, you can find it written in Hebrew. What do you mean? Can you find every word of God written in the Hebrew language? Yes, there are still people today that speak Hebrew, but still yep. believe in believe in Jesus, but they all they don't understand English, so. Yes, there's a there's a King James Bible written in Hebrew. Yeah. Oh, really? What scriptures led you to believe that? Because because there was many there was many nations that came. There were men out from all around when on the day of Pentecost, people from every tongue. You remember the you remember the flaming tongues that came and set upon the twelve, mm -hmm. and they they started hearing them in their own tongue. You know, in every in every man's tongue. Right yeah, there, that heard, leads me to believe. Yeah, they heard. Right? Yeah, they heard. They heard them. Yeah. Right. Uh huh. They didn't read. They didn't read the word of God in every tongue. No, no. But I'm saying that leads me to believe that they had to write things down in different tongues for others well, to believe. Why, why, if somebody is, why are you led to believe that if it's not written? Because if somebody is speaking in an unknown tongue, then they're not edifying. They're not edifying the church. They're edifying themselves. So somebody who, if you're speaking in, if you're speaking in Chinese, but you're speaking, you're speaking in the gospel. But I don't understand. You're reading the gospel in Chinese, but I don't understand Chinese. 
So you're not edifying me. Right. You're not edifying me. You're edifying like yourself. I don't understand it. You need somebody to interpret that for me. Anybody need right. anything else? Okay, well I'm gonna I'm gonna so so in those books, right? If it was written in Chinese, uh -huh. right? If the if right. so you believe we ha you believe that the Chinese people have their word of God in their language written? Yes. Okay, what, what name is written in that book? Um what do you mean what name? For salvation. That Jesus. <laughs> and that's the okay, only so name. would it be in would it be in J E S U S in the Chinese book? Well, I don't know. I don't know how the Chinese grammar, you know, is written. I don't know. All right, I, I haven't. Okay, so, so, I haven't. so you don't you don't know if it would be written J E S U S. So it could be a different spelling. Right, because I believe that they use like caricatures. You know what I'm saying? So when they write, they don't necessarily write A B C. They use so it's so it wouldn't necessarily be the J E S U S that you find in the King James Bible. All right, but however, however, you would still pronounce it the same way even if it's written in a different character he's, he's just he's fed he's, he's eating everything well if someone calls on the name of jesus compared to the right. actual name the only name that saves which is jesus uh -huh. um, then they're not going to be saved because that's not the name Jesus is the only okay. name that saves. So I believe that Jesus Christ is God manifest in the flesh. Um, mm -hmm. That is uh, God coming down in his son through right. his son, Jesus Christ, manifesting himself through his son, Jesus right. Christ, the son of God. And he was sent to God's chosen people at that time. And they did <laughs> deny him, sending him to the cross. He died an innocent death mm -hmm. and he was taken down from the tree, buried in the sepulcher. He was physically dead three days, three nights. He rose again on that third day. And after he had risen, he was seen. And those those witnesses were chosen by God. That's the gospel of Jesus Christ. You must be, believe in your heart. It says in um, uh, John 5, 1, 13, that believing on the name of, of the Son of God is how you know that you, you'll, ha you'll be in heaven when it's your time, when you die. Uh -huh. So I know you've been watching the studies. You know, Jordan told us that you've been watching the studies or whatever, but uh, the more questions we ask, the the you know the deeper we can go, and um, you know we can judge righteously. You know, a lot of people feel like, oh, we don't have the right to, you know, ask these questions, but we can judge righteously. Okay. And you know, any 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 brother that confesses to believe on Jesus, the Lord Jesus Christ, they should be um, they should be ready to give a reason for the hope that's in them. And oh, so, well, I, I, yeah, I, I appreciate that. Um, but the, there is only one name. If someone calls on Jesus, that's not the name. But let me ask you this. Yeah, I can totally some, believe that. Okay. Yeah, totally believe it. Um, yeah. I mean, and, it makes sense only because of what I've written and how I see what I've read and, and how I see how it is how it is used. Like, like I referenced the whole capital letter. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? That right there can lead me to believe that that is exactly how it is. Per, you know, pronounced in any language. You know what I'm saying? Even if I'm speaking pig Latin. Yeah, well, that's speak. what that's what the enemy wants you to do. He's taking the J's away. He's trying to do all these things so people can oh, yeah. uh, say it wrong. They can whatever. Um, but it's only Jesus. It, it's been now, Jesus. Now, now, let me ask you this. Ahead, let me ask you this really ahead. quick, um, and then we can get back on the name. What if what if someone stops believing? Um, will they still go to heaven? Absolutely not. Okay. So if someone if someone, you know, believes and then they say they go murder somebody or they fall back into sin, they, you know, um, they, they're going to they're not going to be saved. No, if they say they believe okay. and they go murder or do whatever. No, they're, they're still believe. That's still okay, saying perfect. now the moment the moment that you say that you don't believe and you say that out of your heart, that's when you're not going to be saved. Okay, I got you. I just wanted to. That was a net, another follow up topic after the name. Appreciate you answering that. Oh yeah. Okay. So that name, and I, I can, I am led to believe. You know that is how you pronounce it, and there is only you know one name that saves. Like, and and also I have facts. You know, I've read, I've read things um that kind of back that. For example. Um, when Jesus went and healed, when it, when it, um, cast legion out of the man, 
who you know was uh they that people was trying to bind and they couldn't bind him and um you know they were trying to put chains on him and he broke all the chains because he was real fierce. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Y'all know that story of Legion when he cast him into the pigs. Hello. Right now. Okay, yeah. And so when Legion, when they cast him, when he had cast him into the pigs, right? After the man was sane and sitting by Jesus, Jesus told the man, he said, because the man wanted to go with Jesus, but Jesus told him, no, go back to your town and tell them all the things that the Lord has done for you. And in the very next sentence, it says that the man went and told everybody what Jesus had done for him. You see what I'm saying? That's how I can even further believe that the name of God is Jesus. There's another example. So yeah, I can I can totally believe that. What's the name of the Father? Jesus. <laughs> name of the Father is Jesus. Name of the Holy Spirit is Jesus. Baptized in the name. The name is singular. Baptized in the name of, of the three. Now you got one name. Now, what I do believe, although Jesus came in his father's name, it says once we get to heaven, we'll obtain his new name. So I do believe that he actually has his own name. However, for the sake of believers and saving people, he did come in his father's name. You see what I'm saying? Okay. So his name forever is not Jesus? That's why no the father's name does it not and correct me if I'm wrong does it not say that he's gonna once we get there into heaven does it not say that he's gonna give us his new name? <clears throat> well, mm, you have to bring up the scripture so we can look yeah, at it. But it also remember it says wherefore God hath highly exalted him and given him mm -hmm. a name which is above every name, <clears throat> and at the name of Jesus every knee should bow things in heaven and things in earth and things yeah. under the earth. Right, right. So is there a reason that God wouldn't just keep the order of things and his name is Jesus? And so that's what it will be forever. It says far above all principality and power, and not only in this world, but the world to come. And every name that is named. Yes. And I believe that's that's now I believe now I see that's why I have to pull up the scripture if what I'm yeah. even saying is, you know, correct. <clears throat> Because I yeah, do believe that is the father's name and his name is going to be until he decides to change it. <laughs> so, um, Where does it say he changes his name? I have to go. Let me see if I can pull that up. Yeah. Would you be, are you on a lunch break right now? You're kind of just mobile in the car? Yeah, yeah. We're in the lunch. We're on lunch break. So, I, I'm sorry. I, I missed your name. My name is Akil, A K I L. Akil, okay, Akil. I'm Bjorn. Nice to meet you. Thanks for joining. Okay. But, but uh, yeah, would you be open to a more uh, like of a sit down in front of the scriptures uh, later tonight? Yeah. Well, I'm definitely down, but I can't tell you what my schedule will be. I got two kids at home, and they on. It depends on what time, cause I don't. They don't go to sleep. One of them is a newborn, ain't but two months old, and the other one two years old. So I try to put her down around like nine, ten. Okay. <clears throat> so what time is it now? I'm free after six p.m. Anytime, anytime you're ready, anytime, because it, it just seems like we're trying to like rush everything into this little one hour lunch break. But yeah. So what What time is it now for you guys? Uh, it's one o'clock. We're one hour before you. Oh, okay. You're one hour after me. A uh, one hour, yeah. Or, yeah, okay, I see. Um, okay, so that wouldn't be until uh, about 10 o'clock my time that you'd have your, your the older ones down, the older wow. child. Yeah, so that sounds good to me. Anytime after know. six, you just let me know. You going to have any gas in the tank to talk to us then? Say again? You going to have to have that conversation after? Oh, man, after I, you time? know. Oh, I think it's really important that you that you have to you know come back on here because it sounds like you may be um, you may have a couple of doctrines that have influenced your your believing. So, I mean, 
the nice thing is, is that you're willing to you bring up the word of God. So if you can bring up the yeah. word of God and, and reverence the word of God, then we can walk you through it um, and show you that scripture. And you can yeah, show us those scriptures too. So it's, it's going to be a lot more fruitful when, when we get into that sit down and set aside a, some extra time. But we've broken some good, we kind of like broke the ice and all that. But there's only so much we can do within a restricted time frame. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, Akil, um, yeah, join us tonight. Um, I don't know if you – do you have Hangouts on uh, uh, I, your phone? I think I do have Hangouts on my phone. Okay. Yeah, so maybe, Jordan, you can uh, – we can add him to the group. Uh Maybe send, shoot us an email or, or a text or something in the group, and we can add them. Okay, or, in this, cool. or in the private chat. That way we can kind of include them. Okay. And everyone can get the notification when we're going to go live, and uh, we'll just set it up. We'll be ready to go for 10 p.m. your time. And then whenever you're ready, you know, if it takes you a little longer because you're getting the kids settled, then so be it. Just let us know. But... Yeah. Right, sounds sound good. I'm gonna be actually about to get ready to walk back in here now, but I appreciate you all the time. Yeah, likewise. Thanks for bringing uh, Akil in. Uh, it's awesome. Uh, appreciate sure. that, Jordan. Yeah, we're. Hey. I look forward to, to to going deeper. So that's it. Sure, to appreciate it. See you all later. Y'all. We'll see you all later. You all take it easy. Godspeed. Amen. All right. Godspeed, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Talk to you tonight.